Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. Now, everyone's been asking me, who is Adria? We know that she popped up randomly and now Diamond has a love interest, but we don't know what her full background is and what she's actually doing on the show. So I went and did a little bit of research. We did a little bit of digging. I got a couple of websites. We're going to read off a few things, give a little brief description about her, and then we're going to figure out what exactly is her motive with dealing with our boy Diamond. But first, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now we're moving forward. Diamond and Tommy, they went their separate ways. We know he just dropped off $380,000 so he could buy those 10 bricks up off of Tommy and get him and his brother, Jannard, in the game. But in the midst of all this, he ran into the lovely Adrian. So we're going to see a little bit about her and see what she has going on. Now, the first time we see Adrian is at Slick Eddie's American Diner, you know, the world famous diner. And when Diamond shows up, she's sitting in his spot. So I'm thinking maybe she knew him or she's out of town and didn't know much about him. But once he sat down and we heard the conversation between the two, they started to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Diamond. She's Adrian. So it's like, okay, cool. What are we doing here? And he's talking about breakfast for dinner. She also sees that he boxes. Now, it was kind of strange that she knew a little bit about boxing. So I was thinking maybe she did her research on Diamond. Maybe this isn't a coincidence that she's in this seat. Now, she knows a little bit about boxing, and Diamond used to be that guy. He used to be the champ. So they sit down, and you can tell that there's an attraction between the two. And I'm thinking, this is jumping off a little faster than we were expecting. And for this to be very random, I'm thinking she may be a cop. She may be doing some kind of investigation. And especially for Diamond to be in the dope game just out of prison for someone to just sit down and randomly be in your spot. It was a little suspicious to me. Now, of course, that led to them going back to the house and her saying, I got to get up. You know, my night is just getting started. Now, she hops up and she leaves. So Diamond is thinking, oh, man, that was a good first night. But when she gets outside, she gets a message, an alert. And this message is information on Diamond Sampson sentenced to 15 years of prison. So now this has us wondering, is she undercover? What exactly is she doing to randomly get this when she just said that work starts late for me and the night's just beginning? So we were thinking maybe she was sent there by Bennigan, but we were wrong with all of this. Like I said, I did a little bit of research, so I have some information on her. We're going to jump into that right now. I head over to Alexis Renee, and she has a little piece on her. Miss Howard portrays Adrian on Power Book 4 Force. She is a crime reporter who is secretly writing about Diamond. Now, this makes sense why she has an article on there. Now, it says Miss Howard portrays Adrian on Power Book 4 Force. She is a crime reporter who is secretly writing about him check her out in this episode now there's another article that they have on here which goes in a little more detail diamond went to the diner and met adrian the two hit it off and they end up sleeping with each other at the end of the night adrian hasn't revealed to him that she is a crime reporter who is writing about him so this is all making sense when i said that she knew a little bit about boxing she did some investigating so that's how she knew you know let me sit in this guy's seat i've been watching him a little bit let me know a little bit about boxing let me touch up on some you know saying on some phrases on some quotes so i can have something to relate to him and what she's doing is trying to make diamond comfortable now this is getting him to open up now this is just the beginning she threw that thing on him so now he's going to feel comfortable with her and also at the end of the episode what do we see she brought him some more food so now she's over here for the second night after she didn't already threw it on him, now he may be caught up a little bit, almost wrapped around her finger. Now, the next page that I found was actually a little description of Adrian on sportsandculture.media. Adrian is beautiful and charming crime reporter working on a digital news outlet that specializes in investigative journalism. She has an incredible ability to read people, listen to them without judgment who realizes the truth and lies in gray areas. So this here is going to be hard for our man Diamond to try to figure out what exactly to say to her without getting caught up. If she specializes in finding out lies, he's going to have a hard time trying to keep from her that, oh, I make my money after getting out of jail. I live this lifestyle by just owning a barbershop. That's going to be very tough for him to be able to prove that and actually keep it out of her sight so she won't be able to write about it. Now, it says she decided to pursue journalism at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And then she moved around the country as a freelance journalist. Now, with one of the biggest dope dealers getting out of jail, the head of CBI, this is going to be a big story for her. So I can see why she's trying to do as much as she can and get close to Diamond, because if she can get a story and figure out what he's been doing. Now, I don't know if she's going to be, you know, saying 
looking for bad things in this or is she going to build a relationship with him where she develops and she actually does a good story covering them in that light now it says she covers major crimes and specifically organized crimes from street level to mob bosses so like i was saying cbi the head of cbi is out of jail let me go and get close to him see if i can get a story with this she landed in chicago when her knack for breaking big stories caught the eye of digital media company said to become the next vice now if you don't know what vice is they have a huge following especially on youtube they go out there they follow around like gangland they go to different countries they see the world's most dangerous prisons so vice is huge and if this is another digital level i mean digital media company in chicago doing this then yeah you want to be one of the front runners for this and if you can break this big of a case well, I won't say break the case, but if you can get this information on the head of CBI and see what he's doing post prison, that's going to be very, very big. Now, Adrian is a woman who is shaped by every person she meets in every place she lives, which is why she is drawn to ex-convict CBI leader Diamond Sampson. She can tell that he is a man who's lived many lives and has a story to tell. And when he decides to tell it, she will be there to listen. Now, me personally, all I'm hearing is trouble 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 this is going to draw all the wrong attention to you she's doing her job so of course what they're going to want they're going to want the bad out of this to see whatever cbi has going on and what diamond is doing since he's been released from prison now if they build an actual relationship in a bond i could see her flipping it and saying hey he got out he's giving you know free haircuts to the community that could be one way they spend it the only problem is I think Jannara could potentially come in and mess this up once he sees that his brother is messing with her or Jannara can get too comfortable and be the one to actually slip up and Diamond's the one keeping everything on the wraps. I don't know. Right now I'm leaning towards Jannara being the one to mess this up. I don't think Diamond will put himself in a position to start running his mouth about the business. But then again, it's been 15 years and he had that thing put on him. You know, that power of that thing down there can get a man to say, whatever is going on there you go a little breakdown of adrian so we understand that she's actually a journalist a crime journalist and this could potentially be harmful to cbi let me know what you guys think about adrian can we trust her or is she going to build a bond with him and just use him to get this report up out of him let me know what you all think i'm moda j if you like the content on the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out jimmy on a beat boy